Erica, a woman gives birth on the side of a local interstate with a 911 operator on the line to help. Tonight, the new family is talking about the surprise delivery. WLKY's Ann Bowden has the story. The Martinez family is breathing a sigh of relief as their newborn, baby Nicholas, is recovering here at Baptist Hospital East. That's after he was born in freezing temperatures in a car. All of a sudden, I seen her. She was kind of just like getting agitated and going, scooting down in the back seat. And I'm like, okay, I think we better call 911. We are on 64. Nico, what part is 64? And we, there's a lady, we are having a baby in the truck. Okay, 64 east or west? Uh, we're coming towards the hospital. Trying to get the baby is coming out. Early Wednesday morning, Rosa Martinez told her family it was time, and she was right. The lady told us to pull over to the side of the road and just stay there. That lady was 911 operator Therese Brandon. She guided the family as they tried to make it to the hospital. Okay, have you stopped the car? We're trying to get over too much traffic. Snow and ice and blistering winds made their rush to the hospital a challenge. Therese dispatched Major Chris Lutkus. Where exactly are they? Are they on the Gene Snyder? Are they on Shelbyville Road? Are they at the exit, past the exit? Miguel and Rosa Martinez from Monterey, Mexico, were in town visiting family. They do not speak English, so a language barrier added to the emergency. Teamwork by Major Lutkus, the couple's aunt and uncle, and the 911 operator made this surprise delivery possible. I just kind of checked her and I felt the head and I'm like, okay, yeah, he's coming. As the baby delivers, support the baby's head and shoulders and hold his hips and legs firmly. Remember, the baby will be slippery. Don't drop it, okay? By the time EMS arrived, little Ian Nicholas Guevara Martinez was born. Oh, yeah, yeah, he was uh, opening his eyes, crying, uh, moving around, you know, just like normal little baby zoo. After just hearing the baby um, crying, the background was very emotional for me, uh, just being able to play a role in, in the beauty of life itself. So it was just a wonderful situation. Major Lockus clamped the umbilical cord, which the Martinez had tied with a shoestring. He then swaddled Nicholas to keep him warm in the freezing temperatures. But before Nicholas was taken, his aunt said he did something she'll never forget. He grabbed her finger and wouldn't let go. It made me feel good. He made me cry. So, yeah, it was good. Everyone involved says it was a collaborative effort that brought the miracle of life here safely. Here at Baptist Hospital East, Ann Bowden, WLKY News. All right, thank you, Ann. The 911 call lasted 30 minutes. The family has talked about meeting.